Hey everyone, today we're going to learn the do's and don'ts of cracking open crabs. Let's have some fun. And the first etiquette rule when eating, picking crabs is don't do this. Oh, here's a heavy one. I'll take this one. Don't do that. Just pick the first one you grab and eat it. Simple as that. The one thing uh, us people that eat crabs a lot like to do is give people mallets. Uh, it's hilarious. We love, here, here's some mallets. And people start hammering away at their, their crabs. That's not what you do. We, it's just for our entertainment. Uh, only thing you need is a knife. And it doesn't even need to be sharp, just a knife. We'll show you how to use it in a few minutes. After we've taken our crab, first thing we're gonna do is scrape off the either Old Bay or Joe's spice, tear open the apron, take off the main shell. Another thing you wanna do is this stuff here, it's called the lungs. Don't eat that, bad news, man. Tear all that off. this. <clears throat> okay, now you got the center part. You got the mustard here, and inside are the intestines. Uh, a lot of people don't eat that. I do. Hmm. Quality. Next thing you're going to do is crack your crab in half. Starting here, Pull off legs at the knuckle. All of them. All of them. All of them. Now that you have just the body, no knuckles, squeeze the center and then open up like a clam. Expose all the meat. One thing you can do when eating crabs, if you get shell in your mouth, spit it out. It's searchably acceptable. After eating your crabs, make sure you have something really cold and refreshing your drink. Usually something with some alcohol in it. Natty Bow is the, the, the norm, but if you want to dry, drink something else, it's okay. It's summertime. You do what you want. All right, well, I'm gonna go back to picking crabs. We'll talk in a bit. All right, folks. Now we're gonna use the only instrument you need in uh, for crabs. You take your first crab. Oh, I can't get underneath, I can't get underneath the shell, the apron to, to pull it up. Grab your knife. Have it underneath. Ooh, it's a paper shell. Pull it up. Oh, man, this thing was about ready to slough. Look at that. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, it would have been a soft crab probably another couple days. All right. This is the only thing you need your knife for. You take it. I'm going to put it right about here. Lightly tap it with the other hand. Eat it. You can also use this to pick that out of there. Now for the second half, do the same thing. There. Okay, it didn't come out. No big deal. You squeeze this, cracks it right open. Can't get the meat out. Use a knife. Not right now. That's what you need a knife for. If you want to try to attempt 
to uh, get the meat out of the claw without a knife. And what you can do is break that off. Oh, it didn't slide out. All right, well, if you got enough strength, you can squeeze it, break it. Use your finger, pull it out. Same with the back end. Oh, it didn't come out. Squeeze it. There it is. Good stuff. While well, I'm sitting here eating crabs, uh, I, rem I remember a story that uh, my uh, grandparents used to say, uh, tell. Um, my grandfather used to be a crabber. It was his hobby. Nonetheless, um, my grandfather was eating crabs, and he needed a knife. So he didn't have any, there weren't any knives in the silverware drawer. So he went to the good silver, grabbed a knife out of the good silver, and started using the butt end of the... Uh, uh, the butt end of the uh, knife crack open, open the claws. So he he and he crack them open like so. Well, I don't know if people know this, but silver is kind of soft, and since it's relatively soft, it put all kinds of dents and dings in the silver handle. My grandmother came in and saw that, and she's like, "Bernard, that was my grandfather's name. Bernard, what are you doing? Crack open, crash! You're destroying the silverware! Stop it!" There's no other knives. Just ask next time. So, that's my crab story. Also, back in the day, uh, you used to line your table with newspaper. Well, the uh, crab folks realized that, uh, you know, nobody has newspaper anymore. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, it's a dying art. Uh, my daughter went in and said, uh, yeah, we don't have a newspaper. Oh, no problem. And they gave us a big roll of uh, white paper that we're currently using. <clears throat> and uh, it works great. I, uh, I also put uh, uh, plastic underneath because sometimes this paper doesn't hold up well, especially when it gets wet and such. So uh, just a little tip if you ever want to use 
if you ever want to get uh, crabs. Uh, I will tell you that, let's say you're up in uh, Pennsylvania or New York or what have you, uh, and they, you say, oh, Maryland blue crabs or blue crabs on the menu, don't eat them. Uh, the one thing that they tend to do is let me there, boil the crab. Here in Maryland, and I know they do it in New Orleans as well, they steam the crab, which is a much better way of uh, doing it. So what I'm doing now is picking crabs for my wife, and then when she comes home, she can either eat it as such, or she can make a crab cake. Uh, I'm sure Lauren's going to be helping me shortly soon, because uh, you get full. Don't worry, <laughs> These are good. I've had probably, I don't know, close to a dozen, ten, I don't know. Uh, these are good. All right, I'm going to show you how to take out the meat from these itty bitty little legs, okay? So you want to pinch it at the knuckle here. It may not be successful on all of them, but you pinch and pull. Yeah, see, that ain't successful. See, that ain't successful. This is actually a rare talent. Not very many people can do this. See, I got bits of it out, but I, but before I started filming, I got like four out of the four that I did. See, there's a bunch here. Oh, the itty bitty one. See, more there. Yeah, normally we don't go for this, but. But I do because I spent a shit ton of money on these crabs and I'm going to get my money's worth. That's my foul mouth daughter. <laughs> She also uses butter as well. That's usually not a thing. It but, is a thing because it's delicious. But Lauren okay, insists that it is. If the crab place sells it, it's a thing. There we go. Ready, ready, ready. See, I'm pulling it out. See? There it is. Perfect on my last one. And it's good. It's a little more tough. But it's good. That's it. All right, we're finishing up what's left of the crabs. We yeah! Got nice... <laughs> we got a nice bowl of crab meat. We'll make uh, crab cakes or soup or whatever. We're going to leave. We actually are going to make soup probably tomorrow. Uh, we've got about half a dozen in there. What we'll do is uh, we'll make uh, a tomato-based soup, and we'll crack them bad boys open and throw them into the soup, and that'll be really good. Uh, the twisted teas went down really nice. We had a good time. <laughs> Did we have a good time, Lauren? We sure did. Okay, well. <laughs>